everyone, my name is Hannah and welcome to a new reading vlog. These vlogs, this vlog, I don't know why I said these, this vlog is going to be my full moon readathon vlog. So if you don't know, the full moon readathon was created and is hosted by my very good friend Jan here on booktube over at Jan Agaton. She runs a monthly book club called the full moon book club. So every month on the full moon she has like a live show discussion for her book club and since the full moons are starting earlier and earlier in the month now she decided to do something a little different this month and do a readathon to kind of help you know adjust the schedule a little bit and so there are four characters that you can try to collect basically so i'll pop up that graphic up on the screen here it looks so good i love it yes this is very uh jan you know if you look at this you can just tell that it's a readathon that she created because it's very much her aesthetic i'm gonna try to collect all four characters but we shall see so the first book that i'm going to be picking up for this readathon is twilight by stephanie meyer so my friend cammy over at burrows and books is um hosting like a read-along. I think Sarah Shelves is also doing the read-along. Um, those are the two that I know of. There might be more people, I'm not sure. But August is the first month of that and so we need to read Twilight. So I'm gonna get to reread Twilight and this is like perfect timing because this fits two of the prompts for the bat. So it has black on the cover and it has vampires. So yeah, I will definitely be picking this one up. And then for the witch prompt, I want to try to pick up Wild is the Witch by Rachel Griffin. This is Rachel Griffin's newest release. This is the same author as The Nature of Witches, which I read and really enjoyed. And this one just came out and it's the beautiful first edition copy that has like the cool artwork on the naked cover. Um, I also have the cool Nature of Witches first edition one that has all that cool artwork. So I was really happy to get that. But this one is really short. It's I think right around 300 pages and the it fits the prompt of has magic in it because it's about witches so it has magic and then it was the other prompt was a book set in autumn and I'm pretty sure this one is set in autumn I don't know for sure but I'm gonna go with it nature of witches was kind of set in the autumn time and I know that that's like this author's favorite season so I'm just gonna assume that it is Hopefully it is. If it's not, I'm still gonna count it because I think that it is. So I'm gonna count it. I can't remember the photo prompt for this one. What was it? Oh, make yourself your own brew. So I'm gonna probably, whenever I decide to pick this one up, I'll make a cup of tea with it. Um, Cause that's the only brew that I like currently want. I don't wanna make coffee at home. So yeah, I'll make tea. Then for the ghost prompt, it is read a spooky book and read a book by a dead author. And for that, I'm going to be picking up Camilla, Carmilla. I can't, I, I don't even know. Not me forgetting who the author is too. Like, I don't know. I just know that this is the like very first vampire book ever written. It's what inspired Dracula. And I, it's really short. Like, I think I have the audiobook from my library and it's like, only a three hour audiobook and I will listen to it at at least a two times speed so it'll go really fast and yeah it was written like in the 1800s I think so it's quite old so the author is long since passed so I'm gonna use that one so I will definitely be able to get the ghost and I can't what is the <laughs> what is the photo prompt I'm really unprepared for this apparently oh watch a spooky movie that's that that's the final full moon prompt for this one so that I will be doing. I don't know which movie. I'm not really into like scary movies. Like, I don't know, maybe I'll watch Death Day because I heard that's like a horror comedy and I really like horror comedies. So maybe that one, we'll see. And then the final one, the final character, the wolf, one of the prompts is to read a book with a animal, an animal on the cover. And for that one, the only one on my TBR that has an animal on the cover is The Girl Who Fell Beneath the Sea by Axie O. Oh, there is a little whale there and some fish. That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> this is the beautiful UK edition that I got when I was in London. And also the Studio Ghibli readathon, which is being co-hosted by two of my best friends here, Lachlan and Cami again. This is the group buddy read for this month. So I was like, that works perfect too, because then I'll just get this one read as well. So yeah, I think this one will be a pretty quick read. I have the audiobook again from my library and it's like just around the 300 page mark. So this should be 
pretty quick. But I have also heard that this one has Spirited Away vibes, the Studio Ghibli movie. And that's one of my favorite Studio Ghibli movies. So I'm excited to read this one. And then I think it's the Half Moon prompt is to read a book that was gifted to you. And the only book that I have that has been gifted to me is Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan. This was so kindly gifted to me from my bestie Lachlan over at Locke's Library. I know this is supposed to be like a very sad, emotional, contemporary romance. So I'm very eager to get to this one because I feel like that's the, the reading mood that I'm in. Ever since I read Magnolia Parks, I just really want to read like emotional romances. So I will hopefully be getting to this one as well. So I for sure want to get the bat and the ghost prompt. I think that I can for sure get those. And then if I can get to the witch and get to the wolf, then I'll try to do that this week. But I don't want to put too much pressure on myself, especially if I'm not in the mood for some of these books. But those are my reading plans. So I have some plans today. So I won't be able to do a bunch of reading today, but I will for sure be able to read this week. I'm hoping to start Twilight tomorrow. So those are my plans. This is the start of it. Happy day one of the full moon readathon. And yeah, that's all I have for you. So I will check back in when I actually pick up one of these books. day three now of the full moon readathon. I was going to update yesterday but I just kind of forgot. Um, but I did start with Twilight and I don't remember what page I'm on. Page 110. So I'm about 20% in to Twilight. <laughs> I'm really enjoying my reread. I am feeling like so nostalgic especially some of like the things that Bella does and like things that she mentions. I'm like oh my god I totally like made her my whole personality. And I know people always say, like, Bella doesn't have a personality. I, f like, totally disagree with that. Like, especially in the book, she definitely has more of a personality. But I think Kristen Stewart in the movies did a really good job, like, kind of showing how awkward Bella really is. Anyways, that's a whole different tangent. But she mentions how she, like, smells her hair because she thinks Edward is freaking out, like, because she smells bad and her hair smells like strawberries, like her favorite shampoo. And I just, like, unlocked a memory where I made my mom get me strawberry shampoo and there's like a scene where Bella gets lemonade for lunch and I was like oh, lemonade I love lemonade <laughs> that's so funny so funny to talk about but yeah anyways um I am really enjoying my reread I feel like if I read this for the first time now I would have DNF'd already but like that obviously isn't the case. I have so many memories and nostalgia associated with this that I am just having like the best time ever. So I'm, <laughs> I'm really happy about that. I am just really enjoying this. So I'm going to continue reading this today, but I also want to start and hopefully finish Carmilla today, which is the like OG vampire book. So I have some a couple like chores and things to do and I have the audiobook from my library and it's going to take me less than an hour and a half to finish it. So hopefully while I'm doing all those little chores and things I can make some good like progress in that. So I'm hoping to finish Carmilla today and then I would love it if I could get halfway into Twilight. So yeah, that is basically the plan for today, day three, and I will probably update whenever I finish Carmilla. Okay, hello everyone. So I did finish Carmilla. I had a ton of chores to do today. So I listened to it while I did the dishes, I folded the laundry, I swept and swiffered, um, and I finished painting our basement. So I got the whole audiobook read and I really really enjoyed it like I think this might be like a new favorite classic um I wasn't expecting to enjoy it as much as I did I got really sucked into the story and I liked the writing of it and it was really fast like obviously it was like an hour and a half audiobook so it was pretty quick it has like this like bit of an eerie tale to it because of like 
the main character doesn't know what's going on, but we know what's going on. And so, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, so I think I'm gonna end up giving it four stars. I didn't have any problems with it. Like there's nothing I would change about it, but it just didn't give five star vibes, if that makes sense. I don't know, it just didn't give that feeling that I usually get when I wanna give a book five stars, but I didn't have any issues with it at all. I would highly recommend reading it if you haven't already, especially for like a spooky readathon. It's like perfect for that. If you haven't read it yet, I would definitely recommend giving it a try. And I did really like the audiobook, so if you wanna give that a try as well. So the that is for the ghost prompt. So I read, a spooky book because it has like really creepy eerie vibes to it and then also the author is long since passed because this was written I think in the early 1800s so I have those two prompts done and then the full moon prompt for the ghost is to watch a scary movie so I'm gonna try to decide what scary movie I want to watch maybe Brandon will watch it with me tonight and then I'll have the ghost so that's pretty cool and then I also did start reading Wild as the Witch by Rachel Griffin and I'm already 50 pages in. I'm on chapter 5, page 49, but yeah, so I have read the first four chapters and so far I'm really liking it just as much as I liked Nature of the Witches. Um, I really like the way this author writes about witches and like wildlife. So the main character Iris is a witch and she's struggling with um, something from her past where something tragic happened with her and her best friend and their magic it ended up killing someone um, it was completely accidental but still she is really struggling with the guilt of that and she works at a wildlife refuge because her magic um, is I think she said she has lunar magic which means that she has like a connection with animals and her and her mother are like kind of they're not in hiding but they're just like keeping the fact that they're witches secret because in this world everybody knows about witches and sometimes th there's a lot of regulations on what magic they can use and sometimes um people aren't very accepting of witches so they're kind of just not hiding it but they're just not telling people that they are witches they're just letting them assume that they're not iris works at this wildlife refuge and she works with this boy named pike and he's kind of like a little bit antagonistic it's definitely like he's he's a little bit annoying to her and one day she decides that she's going to like curse him because she's been doing this since she was young to kind of release some magic but she never actually follows through with the spell so it just kind of like helps her anxiety a bit so she does these spells but then just like dispels them <laughs> So the magic actually doesn't do the work and so that's what she's trying to do um to dispel her frustration with pike but she tries to like let the magic go and it doesn't it goes into this owl and the owl flies away and so she's got to find it and guess what pike is an ornithologist so he knows all about birds and so that's basically where we're at here so i'm sure that there's going to be a bit of a romance involved here pike at the moment really hates witches we don't know why he just really doesn't trust them and obviously iris being a witch is like excuse me <laughs> so yeah i am really enjoying it and it definitely does seem like it's going to be a quick read it's around 300 pages so i'm going to try to finish this today as well as get a little bit farther into twilight so i've got some ambitious plans but I do have the audiobook for this as well, which makes it a bit easier for me to read it because I can do other things while still getting the story. But yeah, it's only like a little after one in the afternoon right now. So I have the full day to get stuff done and, and get some reading done. So I'm excited about that. So I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go look up some scary movies that seem interesting to me and see if maybe Brandon will watch one of those with me tonight. And then I'm going to go read some more of Wild is the Witch. Maybe I'll switch off and read a little bit of Twilight. I'm very YA today apparently. So I love that for me. <laughs> But yeah, that's where we're at. I just wanted to update that I finished Carmilla. I started Wild as the Witch. I'm doing great. Hello. So I am about halfway through Wild as the Witch right now. I'm on page 157. So I'm just over the halfway mark. And I'm really liking this one. It is so atmospheric. I love the setting of this. It is set in uh, the Pacific Northwest. I know. I think it's in Washington. Let me see if it says yeah in Washington um like near the forest and because the main character um is like into wildlife she's a wildlife witch basically we spend a lot of time outdoors they're hunting for this owl 
and so they like do a lot of camping and stuff outside which I am really really enjoying. I really like all of the descriptions of the nature and stuff around them. It is so so cool. Um, but I'm so irritated with the main character Iris because so pretty early on we learn that Iris's best friend was sentenced to have her magic stripped for making this mistake and she I think she was in jail for like two years or something like that and now she has no magic um, because of this like thing that happened and it's set two years later and Iris is now sort of making the exact same mistake even though like that has really affected her like her best friend making this mistake like Iris is making the exact same one and that is so annoying it's like why would you do that <laughs> like I just feel like there could have been a different way to make Iris make this mistake one that's not so annoying because like who in their right mind that has gone through that and witnessed that who would make that same mistake again I just that is so annoying to me. I'm like so frustrated. I want to like shake her. But everything else I'm really, really enjoying. I'm really liking her relationship with Pike, um, who is like the ornithologist guy that's helping her. They have like a bit of banter and they don't get along. They both find each other kind of annoying, but like, you know, you know, you know what it is. <laughs> so I am really liking this. I'm going to try to finish this tonight, but I'm going to make dinner now and then Brandon and I are gonna watch our scary movie. So I put a poll on my Instagram cause I got a bunch of recommendations for scary movies that aren't too scary cause that's where I like to live. And I got a bunch of recommendations. So I have a poll up right now between The Craft, Happy Death Day and Trick or Treat. So I do wanna watch all of those movies at some point this year, especially like this fall. I really wanna watch a bunch of like classic scary movies like that, but we're gonna see which one wins. I'm kind of hoping, honestly, it's between The Craft and Happy Death Day. I wanna watch one of those. So we'll see, we'll see what it is. But then Brandon and I are gonna watch that tonight and then hopefully I'll finish Wild as the Witch. Oh, and I also found out that there's a little owl right here so this could count as a book with an animal on the cover as well if I'm in a pinch and I don't get to the girl who fell beneath the sea so we'll see oh and I did want to say this is not set in fall it's set in the springtime so I can't use it for a book set in fall but I do have the manga volume one of orange and this starts in fall it covers like a bunch of different seasons but it does start in fall so I'm probably gonna read this tomorrow and use that for my book set in autumn so because otherwise I don't know <laughs> like it's just gonna have to work like you can even tell that it's set in autumn just by the cover so that's the plan but yeah I will probably check in when I finish Wild as the Witch and my scary movie Last night Brandon and I watched The Craft which is my scary movie and it wasn't that scary which is exactly what I wanted. It had like creepy vibes but it wasn't like gonna give me nightmares which is which is what I like in my horror movies. Horror movies if you want to call them that. I don't know. I don't know what's I don't know. I just loved all of the 90s vibes and that and like the witchy things were really cool. So yeah, I did really, really enjoy that one. I'm glad I finally got to watch it because I've been wanting to watch it for years and I just haven't. So also after we watched the movie, I did manage to finish Wild is the Witch by Rachel Griffin. I really did enjoy this one. Um, like I said before though, the thing that bothered me the most was that Iris was making this mistake and it's like, who in their right mind would do that after what she'd been through already but if you overlook that then it's much more enjoyable like I just kind of let it go I'm like this is this is where we are and I did really end up enjoying this one I really like the setting the atmosphere the writing is really good so I'll definitely be picking up 
Rachel Griffin's next book, whatever that may be. I hope that it's witchy, just like the last two of her books have been. But yeah, I really enjoyed this one. I'm gonna give it four stars. And I completed the prompt for The Witch, which was to read a book with magic in it. But like I said, I was planning on using this for the book set in autumn, but it's very much set in spring. So I don't think that I'm gonna use that. <laughs> I mean, I can't, but I will be reading Orange Volume 1 by Ichigo Takano to fulfill the set in autumn prompt because like you can even tell from the cover. It's like set in autumn. I don't think the whole thing is set in autumn, but it at least starts there. Like it even has a couple of the seasons in the artwork. So I will be picking, is that right? Yeah, <laughs> I will be picking this one up probably later tonight. Um, and hopefully I can finish it since it's a manga. Um, I don't think it should take me that long to finish it. But this will be my first ever manga. So I'm a little nervous because I know you read it from like, it's, to, it's the front, but to me it's the back. Does that make sense? And then you have to read it from right to left, which I, I think is going to be a bit of an adjustment. But I have heard really, really good things about this one. So I'm going to be picking this one up tonight. And then I didn't get any farther into Twilight last night because I just wanted to finish Wild as the Witch. But I'm hoping today I can get to at least the halfway point after I finish reading Orange. And then I will try to finish this one tomorrow because I'm going camping this weekend and I want to try to finish some of these like where I need to have multiple books in order to fulfill them. And then I'm not sure if I said this already, but I think I'm gonna switch one of my books out. So originally I had Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan on my TBR, and I think I'm gonna switch it to The Infinity Between Us by N.S. Perkins. This one is a little bit shorter. This was also gifted to me um, from my mother for my birthday, so thanks mom. But it has some very like beachy vibes. Like obviously you can tell from the cover, it's very summer setting. And since we're going camping, we're gonna be by a lake. I thought this would be like a fun, like summer read. I don't know what the, the setting is for um, Archer's Voice, but I thought this would be a fun one to take with camping. So yeah, today I am going to go hang out with my friend Maggie for most of the day, so I won't be able to read till this evening, but I did just want to update and tell you that I did finish Wild as the Witch, and hopefully I'll get some good reading done tonight. night actually it's like 10 45 at night on thursday which is day five yes 
of the readathon. Um, and I have a couple updates. I did finish reading Orange, so I completed the prompt for reading a book set in autumn. I ended up giving this one three stars. I don't know. I think that maybe this was just a little overhyped for me because I don't know. I just, it, it was just fine. It was okay. I'll probably read volume two um, just to like complete the series because like this is, there's only two volumes, but like, I don't know. I just, it was just fine. I don't really have anything else to say about it. Like it was just fine. So that's that for orange. I did make my own brew this morning. I made a cup of tea. So I have completed all of the prompts for the witch character. So that means I have the witch and the ghost. And I just finished my reread of Twilight. So I completed all of the prompts for the bat. So I have read a book with black and read a vampire book and I posted my black outfit of the day. So yeah, I finished reading or rereading Twilight. Um, it was very nostalgic for me. I can't wait to rewatch the movie. I'm going to rewatch it with some of my besties. I don't know if we're going to watch it just like us together or if we're going to wait for the read along watch party of it. I don't know, but I will be watching it soon and I'm very excited for that because I do honestly love the movies. They're, they're just great. So tomorrow, Brandon and I are leaving for the weekend to go camping with some of our college friends. So we will be doing that all weekend. And I'm going to be bringing The Infinity Between Us by N.S. Perkins. It's the last book that I need to read to get all four characters because I am going to use the owl on the cover of Wild is the Witch for the animal on the cover. And then I just have to read the prompt of a book that was gifted to you and then post a cozy night picture or something like that. So I'm going to take that while we're camping. We're going to be camping, so hopefully I can get some reading done um, because we'll be with friends and stuff, but there is a lake near the campsite, so we'll probably be chilling by the lake a bit and I'll get some reading done. And it's a pretty short one. I think it's less than 300 pages. So yeah, I just wanted to update that I did finish these two and I have completed two more of the characters. So I'm on my way and I really just want to get the wolf because I only need to read one more book and I still have two days left. So I think I can do it. Hopefully I can do it. But yeah, that's it for this check-in. I will see you guys tomorrow. everyone it is now Sunday after the full moon readathon has ended so <laughs> my update is that I wasn't able to read anything else uh, for the rest of the week while I was camping I didn't have any service and it literally rained on us the entire time so I wasn't gonna bring my book out and like I mean I was with my friends so I wasn't gonna be like okay guys you have fun by the fire I'm gonna sit in the tent and read so I didn't read anything else which means that I did not get the wolf character but I did get the witch the bat and the ghost so I'm pretty pleased with that because I was originally like only anticipating getting one character but I got three so I'm pretty happy with that and the prompts were a lot of fun so thank you Jan for creating and hosting this readathon it was a lot of fun I hope you do it again 
But yeah, I will leave Jaren's channel linked down in the description down below. If you haven't already checked out her channel, you should definitely go do that. And if you made it to the end of this video, either leave the witch, the bat, or the ghost, whichever one of those prompts of the characters that I was able to get. Pick your favorite one of those and leave that down in the comments down below to let me know you made it to the end of this video. Don't forget to click subscribe while you're down there so that you never miss more bookish videos from me. And I will also leave my Instagram and my Goodreads linked down below if you want to follow me on either of those. And thank you so, so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye.